Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Ruja. Today is August 15, 2024. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to speak to you about a supplement I've been taking for years that helps recruit the fast motor units. These are the motor units that control the fast twitch muscle fibers. I mentioned this in other videos. We all lose motor units. This is a major cause of aging in people and it is not spoken about. In today's video, I popped a link below for a 10% discount on pure quercetin from a company called Particular. This is where I get it from. They are today's sponsor. Quercetin has numerous health benefits, but the reason why I take it daily is because it can slow the loss of fast motor units as well as recruit and activate them, even without exercise. These are the ones we all lose as we age. They are the ones that control fast twitch force fibers that help you move quickly and with power. The quercetin will cost you pennies per day, which I think is well worth it to save the health of the motor units. What I like about this company is that all their products are completely free from unnecessary binders, fillers, and preservatives, including magnesium stearate, trans fats, hydrogenated oils, genetically modified organisms, coatings, shellacs, artificial colors, flavors, and sweetness. Their products are manufactured in the U.S. at FDA and NSF registered facilities, adhering to strict GMP standards. Every product is third-party lab tested and verified to ensure quality and safety. So the link below is for 10% off on Quercetin if you're looking for a reliable source and wish to use it. In addition, if you use my discount code LONGEVITY10, you will get a 10% off for anything you purchase on their website. I want to speak to you about this supplement I take where it directly, it directly, through clinical trials, it has shown that it can recruit fast motor units, which will keep your muscles younger if you take the supplement continuously. We begin to lose these motor units as early as our 30s. By the age of 60 is when it really starts getting bad. By the age of 75, we have lost 50% of our motor units this is what slows us down. This is what causes sarcopenia. This is what makes you lose muscle power, which is called nonopenia. This is why we can't move. This is why we can't react as fast when we age. So is besides exercise, besides plyometrics and power training, is there a supplement that could potentially help you retain the health of these motor units? This is what this video is about, and you are going to be shocked. So let's get right into it. The supplement I'm speaking about is called Quercetin. This is the brand I take right here from Pantoclaw. We will we'll speak about this later, but I am going to introduce you three human studies, three clinical trials that proves that exercise is not the only thing that could recruit fast motor units. Quercetin can also do it, and it has done it in all three cl clinical trials. So let's discuss this. Okay, let's talk about the first study you see on the screen right here. This study investigated how quercetin, which is found in apples and onions, but you have to eat a ton of it to get it, so you have to take a supplement. The study used 13 healthy young males around the age of 24. Each participant came to the lab in two separate days where they were given either quercetin or a placebo. Every one of them ingested three grams of quercetin glycosides, which is an equivalent to 500 milligrams of quercetin found in capsules, taking six capsules in total in a single dose. The study found that after they took the quercetin, the muscles that are used for stronger efforts fire more frequently. In other words, the quercetin activated and recruited the fast motor units, which control the fast twitch muscle fibers. What the study also found is these motor units fired about nine times per second. After taking quercetin, they fired about 10.5 times per second. Believe it or not, this change is big, meaning it's unlikely to have happened by chance. What the study proves is that quercetin helped the muscles work harder. The increase from nine to 10.5 represents a 16.67% increase. In terms of percentage, this is a big jump indicating that the firing rate of motor units increased by almost 17% after taking quercetin. A 17% increase in the firing rate of fast motor unit means that your muscles can generate more force and power in a shorter amount of time. Fast motor units are responsible for high intensity, explosive actions like sprinting, jumping, and lifting heavy objects. 
Like in athletics, what would this do in athletics? A higher firing rate allows athletes to push off the ground with greater force, potentially leading to a faster sprint time or higher jumps. Actually, this is an ergogenic. It's a PED, a natural PED, performance enhancing drug. It's a natural one. But weightlifters, an increase in firing rates can help lifting heavy weights more explosively, which is crucial for powerlifting or in sports like Olympic weightlifting. This also helps in everyday life. For example, let's say you, you want to lift heavy, you need to lift heavy bags, groceries, you need to bring them to the car. This will engage the muscles more effectively, making tasks feel easier and safer. You will also react more quickly to anything in everyday life. If you start to slip, the faster firing rates can help your muscles react more quickly, preventing the fall. This increase in muscle responsiveness can improve performance and safety in both athletics and daily activities. And by the way, I need to emphasize this. The participants did not train, did not exercise. This was caused just by taking quercetin. It helped the motor units just by taking the supplement. That's incredible. It's the only supplement known to do this. Now let's talk about the second study that you see on the screen here. The scientists wanted to see how quercetin affects muscle function during light, steady activities like holding a position for a while, for a long time. To do this, they gave 13 young adults, both male and female, either 500 milligrams of quercetin or 200 milligrams of quercetin and a placebo on different days. After taking these, the participants performed light muscle exercises and the researchers measured how the muscles responded. This is what the researchers found after doing this experiment. When the participants took quercetin, the nerves controlling their muscles didn't need to work as hard to maintain the same level of force during steady, low intensity exercises. This means their muscles became more efficient with quercetin, especially at the higher 500 milligram dose. So what exactly does this mean? Normally when you hold some steady, your nerves send signals to your muscles to keep them engaged. Quercetin made it so that the nerves didn't have to send as many signals, but the muscles still worked just as good. Think of it like driving a car on a highway with cruise control. Quercetin helps the muscles use cruise control, making it easier to maintain steady activity without tiring out quickly. Now, let me discuss the differences between the two studies so you don't get confused. In the first study, quercetin was shown to increase the signal, the firing rates, to muscles during short, intense activities, like sprinting, like you would do for sprinting or lifting heavy objects, heavy weights. This helped muscles produce more power quickly, which is for explosive movements. That was the first study. Now here's the difference with the second study. In the second study, quercetin decreased signals needed during long steady activities, improving muscle efficiency. This makes it easier to maintain a steady force over time, which is beneficial for endurance and reducing fatigue. So why does this matter? Let's start for daily life. This could help with everyday activities like holding a grocery bag or standing for a long period of time, making them feel less tiring. How does this benefit athletes? It could help athletes by improving endurance during long events, marathons, where maintaining steady effort is key. But sudden is like a natural performance enhancing drug, not just for physical activities, but also for everyday life. Okay, now let's talk about the third study. The third study is different than the first two. This one uses older adults. Unfortunately, it didn't say their ages in the study because it's a new study that just came out in August. So it doesn't have the full study details. However, it has enough information that I, I want to share with you. This study specifically investigated how taking quercetin for one week affects muscle function in older adults, focusing on how muscles are activated during resistance exercises. In this particular study, 24 older adults were divided into two groups. One group took the quercetin glycosides, a form of quercetin, and the other took a placebo for one week. Both groups performed a session of resistance exercise and their muscle activity was measured before and after the exercise. So what did they find? This is very interesting. Quercetin made it easy for the muscles to get activated, meaning they could start working with less effort. It also activated the higher threshold motor units. Those are the fast motor units controlling the fast switch fibers. During the resistance exercise, quercetin helped activate muscle fibers that usually require more effort to get going. 
aka fast twitch muscle fibers. These are typically the stronger fast twitch muscle fibers that are crucial for powerful movements. Why do these findings matter for older adults? Let's apply this to everyday life. As people age, they often struggle with tasks that require muscle strength, like standing up from a chair, carrying groceries, and climbing stairs. I mean, you guys have heard this a million times before. This study suggests that quercetin can make it easier for older adults to engage their muscles, particularly the fast-twitch muscle fibers that are vital, crucial for these activities. By making it easier to activate these fast-twitch muscle fibers, quercetin can help older adults perform daily tasks with less effort and reduce the risk of falls and injuries and much more. While quercetin didn't directly prevent muscle loss, it made it easier for the remaining motor units to function effectively, efficiently, which could slow down further muscle decline. In the studies I discussed, quercetin was used in different dosages to assess its effects on muscle function. In the first study, the participants ingested a single dose of 3 grams of quercetin glycosides, which is the same as 500 milligrams per capsule. The second study used dosages of 500 milligrams or 200 milligrams on different days to evaluate dose response effects. And finally, the third study, which used participants that were older, they used quercetin daily for one week with a dose around 500 milligrams per day. Now, according to Helpline, the typical dosages for quercetin range from 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day. Helpline also knows that quercetin is often used for its potential antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and immune boosting properties. They recommend starting with a lower dose to assess to figure out the tolerance and then increasing it gradually if needed, especially since higher doses may offer greater benefits but also come with a higher risk of side effects. Now, let, let's talk about the side effects that Helpline is saying. Quercetin is a natural compound found in many fruits and vegetables, making it safe to consume as part of a regular diet. As a supplement, quercetin is generally considered safe with little to no side effects. However, taking more than 1,000 milligrams per day may cause mild symptoms such as headaches, stomach aches, and tingling sensations. But you're not going to take that much. You shouldn't. You don't need to. While quercetin is safe when consumed through food, its safety as a supplement for pregnant or breastfeeding women is not well studied. Therefore, it is recommended that pregnant or nursing women avoid quercetin supplements. As with any supplement, it's important to consult your healthcare provider before taking quercetin, especially because it can interact with certain medications, including antibiotics and blood pressure medications. This ensures that quercetin is safe for you to use, given your individual health circumstances. On a quick note, quercetin has low bioavailability on its own. So you should eat it with some kind of fat or with a meal that includes fat in it, which increases its bioavailability. More of it goes into your bloodstream. This is how I eat it. I eat it with a meal. To sum up this new study, it suggests that one week of quercetin supplementation can help older adults by making it easier to engage and use their muscles during resistance exercise, particularly targeting the muscle fibers that are often lost during aging, the fast twitch muscle fibers. This could help improve their ability to perform everyday tasks. And let me emphasize that it may also slow down the further loss of motor units, contributing to better overall muscle function and quality of life as the older people age. So it's not, it doesn't build muscle, but it helps you use them better. That's how it helps the older people. In closing, I would like to say, if you stuck with me till now, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. As I said to you, I use this brand particular. Okay, they are today's sponsor for my video. And I'm not just saying this because they're my sponsor. Their supplements are pure. They are backed by third-party testing. I mean, you could check it out. They, 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 their quality is incredible. They're GMP certified, FDA registered facilities. You name it, they're doing it all. Okay, I, I don't just use this supplement. I use other supplements from their website. However, I only use the ones that are backed by scientific studies. I will be making more videos on my, on my supplement intake. Look, I've shown three studies, three different studies that were, quercetin was tested three different ways. Okay. As you can see, it activates the fast motor units in all three human trials. And what's good about this, that quercetin could potentially help you maintain the rest of the motor units you have left. This is especially important for the older people. If you could slow down this loss, you could live longer and healthier. And this is a fact. 
This is, not, this is a serious problem. The loss of motor units, like I said before, we lose about 50% of our motor units by age 75. By the time we reach older age, we have 10% left, the average person, unless you trade for these. But now you have this, quite seven, that you can use even without training that can help slow down the loss of motor units, even without working out. This is very important for the older people that can't work out. Anyway, I, I wish you the best. I gave you the information. I placed the link if you want to buy the Corsetta from this company. If you use my code, Longevity10, you will get a 10% discount on whatever you purchase on that company, especially Corsetta. You get a 10% discount. It's not expensive. It's not expensive. It's pennies a day. To me, to me, 20, 30 cents a day is worth my longevity and my lifespan and my health. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I hope this information may help you some way. See you soon in my next video.